Let's talk about why Nvidia is better than AMD and before anybody jump into my comment section and tell me that no AMD offers you better value for money, it's getting better now. Well, I am not talking strictly about gaming. I'm talking about how Nvidia looks at the industry, what it has done. Now, before explaining why Nvidia is better than AMD, you have to understand about GPUs a little bit. Well, GPUs, same as like CPUs, do processing. Their sole job is to process data. But in CPUs cases, it does process more than one type of data. It's the heart of your system. But GPUs are different because their job is to do one thing and one thing very efficiently and correctly and that is processing your graphical information or graphical data and that is the reason why cpus even to till this date as at the higher end you can get 96 cores when it comes to gpus nvidia and amd has thousands of cores in one single gpu where nvidia shines with their cores is the aspect of cuda or compute unified device architecture. It is NVIDIA's proprietary architecture for parallel computing and AMD has their stream processors. Although both of these are very similar and how they work, but there are some distinguishable difference between these two architectures. And because of these differences, NVIDIA is still ahead of AMD. Think like this, we have a huge water jug and there is uh, liters and liters of water in there. Now, if I put one hole into that jug, it will drain the water very slowly. It is draining the water, and it's doing it very slowly. But what if I put more holes in that jug? It will still drain the water. It is still doing that one particular job, but now it's doing it much faster and in various different ways. Like if some water is going out from the left side, some right side, from some from the front side, some from the back side. And that is what's parallel computing. And that is what CUDA or stream processor is in nature. But where CUDA shines and that is how it captured the industry. Because when Nvidia introduced CUDA and was working on CUDA, AMD was still fighting Nvidia or gaining the brand image that they are the value for money GPU. They fight on price, but Nvidia was playing the game very differently. They were thinking about the future. They were thinking about how industry professionals will use CUDA. And that's the reason at a certain point of time, they invested a lot of money in universities and introducing CUDA to curriculum. So when those students passed out from universities and got into jobs, well, they understood CUDA and it didn't hurt that at that time around 2013-14, there are a bunch of applications or research areas that was developing and CUDA was making that much more efficient. Writing code or CUDA code, not core, CUDA code, writing CUDA code is much more efficient and much more streamlined than if you were to do with OpenCL or even AMD's GPU for that they introduced recently. And that is the reason why in AI workflow or ML modeling, and it doesn't hurt that NVIDIA GPUs also have tensor cores and their job is to work on AI and ML workflow. They focus on those particular tasks. And these are the reason why NVIDIA is still ahead. All these things are for industry professionals. What about us, you and me gamers? How in that scenario NVIDIA is better? With their 400 series and absurd pricing, how can I say NVIDIA is better? Because I am an optimistic person and I love to look things in a long run. And in the long run, AMD for me is still the same player as it is today. It's still gonna play in the base of their pricing and Nvidia is gonna play their cards with their technology. Tensor Cores helps with fidelity effects, DLSS and so many other AI things that Nvidia gonna launch in future. And not only that, NVIDIA has RT cores, which AMD just is developing and trying to introduce on their GPU. NVIDIA is already three generation ahead. Not only that, NVIDIA introduced this technology. 
AMD didn't came out and said, hey, look at us, we are introducing this amazing technology and developers should adopt it. Nvidia did. So Nvidia was already working on this particular technology. Now they are optimizing and introducing more features to make this technology, ray tracing technology widely adopted. And it also leads to another big paradox and that is adoption and developer optimization. What do I mean by that? Developers will develop their game and optimize their game or softwares on the platform which has a mass adoption, not which is a very niche platform. Developers always want to reach more and more people because that will financially help the developers. But if developers doesn't develop and optimize their software, their product for a particular group, let's just say OpenCL, people won't buy GPUs which leverage OpenCL and Vulkan. People will buy GPUs which will leverage CUDA and DirectX. That's the paradox. If developers won't develop and optimize, users won't buy it. And if users won't buy it, developers won't optimize. So that's the reason why AMD needs a breakthrough product where they will not only compete with NVIDIA in the budget area, they will also compete with them in technology wise. Now the game is not only the rasterization performance, now the game is how good your upscaling technology looks. How is your ray tracing performance? Nvidia can charge anything they want because there isn't any other option. There isn't any other CUDA equivalent. There are open source stuff, but they are much harder. And that's the reason I am playing the devil's advocate. And before ending the video, don't comment that I am a Nvidia shield, Nvidia paid me. Look at my views, it, 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 this video might have 10 to 20 views, so no, Nvidia won't pay me. These are my thoughts, what I think, and if you disagree with me, comment down in the comment section below. And that's it for this video. If you liked it, hit the like button, and I know you all disliked it, so yeah, press the dislike button, and don't forget to subscribe and watch the next video right here. And there's Akash, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.